Yeah, hi guys, Ryan here today, uh, back home, uh, been home this morning pretty early, and um, got the, uh, kind of expected it where I was out in Illinois, I kind of expected it to rain back here, but uh, it, only it didn't, so I don't know what happened there, but um, uh, I got some beans and some corn over there, we need to get on and cultivate, um, we got the mounted cultivators here on uh, Grandpa's WD, um, kind of a rare, rare tool to find these days, the way uh, when scrap prices went up, a lot of the stuff got scrapped. Um, I found this set uh, out by Toledo, and I bought these and a, and a set of plows over there, three bottom plows, for, um, I think I gave $250 for them, and they've even got the um, the back toolbar too, for, you know, to cover your wheels and all that, so I think it was a really good, um, really good deal. <laughs> uh, like I said, this stuff's getting hard to find, but, um, like I said, nice 72 row mounted cultivators on the WD, um, like I said, this was my grandpa's, um, so we got the... Uh, my son Aiden here with me, so um, kind of four generations, I guess you could say, with uh, with this old girl here. But um, we're gonna go ahead and get suited up for battle and um, take her down there and go through these beans. And uh, like I said, you don't see a lot of these out there these days, so um, like I said I, I enjoy doing it. Uh, but we're gonna get on down the road here, and um, we got the GoPro on the cultivators, and uh, we'll go through the crops down there and. Um, and hopefully call it a day, go get a couple hours of sleep and, and so we can get into this evening. So but uh all right we'll get started here. <laughs> So we're down here at the other property. Uh, so we got uh, a little bit of corn, beans over there, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and run through it here. So uh, I got the GoPro set up on the tractor, do a couple views, to see what it's uh, like running this, and uh, and uh, we'll recap here at the end. We'll see y'all later.
All right, guys, here's basically the circle of life. You got a honeybee taking pollen off the tassel of the corn here. And um, it's basically how pollination works. They take the pollen off, then they they fertilize the, uh, the ear itself, or the wind does it. But um, so this gets fertilized here, and um, by a bee or uh, by wind or whatever, as that blows off, and that's what creates corn. Or I mean, we got a nice population of bees here. So I don't know. So I was out here cultivating. We just came back here to get some blackberries, and I figured I'd throw this in here for you guys. Uh, pretty impressive. I mean, uh, nice crop of corn, I think. This year, coming on, some of these got two ears on them. I mean, yeah, don't look too bad. Now we got some weeds in here. I didn't get in here and cultivate it as much as I wanted to. But uh, I think this would do well, especially you know my area up in Northeast Ohio. Corn's been uh, been very expensive for some reason this year. I don't have anything to do with this virus thing or what the deal is, but. Uh, yeah, so, but uh, we're gonna, me and Aiden here, we're gonna pick some blackberries, and uh, I'll go back up there, and we'll show you the, uh, we cultivated the beans and the uh, late season corn, and uh, we got a large blackberry bush or bushes back here, so a lot of blackberries, it's all, all free, provided by nature, so. So we're gonna grab us a couple of these and uh, then we'll go back up front here then we'll show you guys the beans we just went through and we'll head back to the house. All right guys, so we uh, got some blackberries picked and um, we got the late season corn out here cultivated and um, planted these beans here too. So I went through those, they're real small so I went through them real slow as you probably saw in the uh, other dash cam footage. Um, or I say dash cam, <laughs> I'm thinking truck mode here but uh, uh, GoPro <laughs> was in my mind. Uh, these came out pretty well, I think. Uh, and the reason we do this, the reason we cultivate, is uh, we we throw up more dirt around the plant over the row, and that 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 uh, prevents weeds without having to use any herbicides or chemicals. So we know we've got a real nice uh, bed here with no weeds in it. And uh, we'll try these beans. I'll probably get through these probably three more times. Um, the corn, I like to, at least once more. I like to get through it over there. Um, but the other reason, I mean, it, it keeps the soil loose, uh, promotes good root root growth, um, also aerates the soil, um, helps moisture, breaks it up, helps moisture get to the roots and all that. And um, you know, with my planter, um, I'm basically putting a row of fertilizer right next to the uh, plant as I plant, so it helps kind of throw that over into where the, the roots can get it and all that so it's uh, multiple functions with one pass basically or um, we'll do multiple passes in a season you know if we can and uh, so less chemicals and all that and um, it's a win-win but uh, so we'll uh, see you all next time. <laughs>